Hello students. Today we are going to study The Man Who Knew Too Much. It is a short story written by Alexander Baron. Alexander Baron was also known as Joseph Alexander Bernstein. He was born on 4th December in 1917 at Maidenhead in Berkshire, England. He was a novelist and a screenwriter. Some of his famous works are From the City, From the Plough, Rosie Hogarth, The Humankind, The Low Life, King Ditto. The story that we are going to study, which is The Man Who Knew Too Much, is taken from his collection the Humankind. Alexander Barron died on 6th December 1999 in London. In the story The Man Who Knew Too Much, we have a few characters. The first one is Private Quelch. He is a soldier in the lowest rank of the army. Then we have the narrator who has written the story and from the point of view of whom we have been given the story. He is a colleague of Private Quelch. Then we have Corporal Turnbull who is a trainer in the training institute. We have an instructor who is giving lecture on rifles. Now let's go through the summary of the chapter. This is an army story. The narrator was under training. Among the trainees, Private Quelch was a remarkable man. He was not an ordinary soldier under training. He was a soldier in the lowest rank of the army who would always show off his knowledge. He was a serious looking man and very skinny whom the writer met at the training center. Even though he was in his initial years of training, Private Quelch had the attitude of one who had a great ambition in life. Private Quelch had a weakness. He used to exhibit his knowledge wherever he got a chance. He questioned his instructors, corrected his lectures and sermonized his fellow soldiers. He was very fond of showing off his knowledge and was in the habit of sermonizing. So he became an object of fun and sarcasm and was nicknamed as Professor. Because he knew too much, he would every time be the first one to answer. He would be known as the smartest, the fastest, the most noticed, the most discussed and also the most hated and most envied. One day during the lessons of musketry, that is about the use of rifles, he interrupts the surgeon in the middle of the lecture and tries to correct him. He replies to the surgeon proudly, it is a matter of intelligent reading, when the latter asked him how he got all this knowledge. He wanted to become an officer soon and rise to higher ranks in the army. For this, he worked day and night, read books and revised his army lessons. He borrowed training manuals and burnt the midnight oil to learn them. He knew answers more accurately than even his instructors. His presence was an embarrassment for the instructors. He answered all the questions and left the instructors speechless. He was able to recognize planes which were the fighter planes miles away without even looking at it. He saluted the best salutes and was ready to run another round when everyone else was tired. His behavior was condescending and he would try to prove himself exceptional before his seniors. He tried to overshadow all others. This enormous knowledge once brought him in trouble. The trouble was with Corporal Turnbull, who was a very stern person and who would not be ready to be taken for a ride. One day, as usual, Private Quelch tried to correct Corporal Turnbull during his class. With growing dislike for Quelch, the Corporal got offended and asked Quelch to continue the class for him. Though Quelch gave a remarkable class, gave a remarkable lecture and everyone was left spellbound but he sure stirred trouble for himself. Having failed to teach a lesson to thoughtless and condescending Quelch, the Corporal played another card. He announced that he was looking for the right person for an important appointment in the Army Institute. He didn't tell them what the post was and for which department. Thinking that the appointment was very important and prestigious, every I turned to Quelch, the most knowledgeable and the worthiest for any post. Thus, the appointment was made. Quelch was unanimously chosen for the post. And what was the post? The post was of the permanent cookhouse in charge. But nobody could stop Quelch. His sermonizing continued even within the four walls of the kitchen. However, the writer and his friends had a surge of immense relief that they were temporarily rid of Private Quelch. So they sighed a relief. So they gave a sigh of relief. Now let's go through the analysis of the chapter. This message that we get from the chapter is that we should never be overconfident. Con
confidence is good but overconfidence can cause damage we should never show off our knowledge because showing off is a bad habit we should respect the knowledge and opinion of others there are things which others know better than us there's nothing wrong in having vast pool of knowledge but it is very wrong to display it to impress others or insult others for the lack of knowledge show off is a negative trait it is a negative quality excess of everything is bad and overconfidence is a flaw thank you